So I've already prepped my face using my Cordilly Beauty Elixir as well as the lip conditioner. And I also use the Dr. Jarts Hydrating Moisturizer. And for my under eyes, I use the Clinique Pep Start just to hydrate underneath my eyes. And for my face, I use my little sample of the Glam Go Volcasmic uh, Matte Glow Moisturizer. And I already did my eyebrows off camera. If you would like to see a tutorial on my eyebrows, just comment down below and I will do a video for you guys. Next up, I'm just going to prime my face using the Smashbox a photo finish primer and I'm just going to press that into my skin focusing more on all the places where I tend to get oily so which is around my nose area on my chin a little bit around my mouth area and my forehead so now that that's pressed in I'm going to go in with my Smashbox liquid halo foundation in the number nine and I'm also going to mix that with my studio fix foundation in NC45. Now this used to be my color or maybe I thought it was my color back in the day but I just recently found out that they have a NC47 so maybe I might try that out and maybe that might be my shade as well because NC50 which is the other shade that's after this well originally after this is a little too dark for me which is kind of like this shade but I'm just gonna mix the two together and with my BH Cosmetics Beauty Blender I'm just gonna blend that in now that's blended out I'm going to use my 3.75 concealer from Anastasia Beverly Hills with my pointed foundation brush, which I'm gonna use for my concealer from Real Techniques. Now you're gonna wanna go a little as possible because this is a very thick concealer and a little goes a long way. So I'm just concealing and highlighting at the same time, pressing that into the skin. And then with that same beauty blender, I'm going to blend that out. To contour, I'm going to use my LA Girls Concealer in Espresso. And I'm just going to put that in the hollow of my cheeks. On the forehead. And I'm also going to contour my nose a little bit with this as well. And as you already know, I love that button nose look. So, of course, I have to do that. I'm just going to add a little bit of the LA Girl Concealer also in Dark Cocoa just to give it a little extra dimension. This one is more of a cooler tone. And the Espresso is more of a reddish tone. So, I would like to add both just a little bit. And then with this mini Real Techniques brush, I'm going to blend that in. I usually pat first so that I don't move the product too much and then I lightly buff that in. And then for my nose, I just pinch the brush. I don't have a skinny brush where I can get in the crevices of my nose when I contour. So if you suggest a brush that I can use, just comment down below and I will give those a try. To set my highlight, I'm going to use my Laura Mercier Translucent Powder. And I'm just going to use the puff that it came with. And I'm going to lightly press it in. Slightly baking. And I'm just going to bring it up to where the contour ends. So I could get a sleeker, more straighter, and cleaner contour line. I'm just gonna do a little reverse contouring with the powder. So I'm just gonna start from the corners of my mouth and work my way up where I would usually contour underneath. So I'm just gonna let that sit in while I set my contour. And for contour, I'm going to use my Sleek Medium Contour Kit Palette. And I'm just going to take this contour powder right here as well as the same little mini Real Techniques brush and I'm going to set my contour and also pinch it just to set that nose contour as well. 
So just to give some time for the powders to set, I'm just gonna move to my eyes and I'm gonna take my MAC Soft Ochre Paint Pot and with that, I'm going to set my eyes to get ready for the makeup look. And I'm just gonna use my same Laura Mercier to set my paint pot. That way the eyeshadows will glide on and blend much easier. And with this buffing brush from Real Techniques, I'm just going to sweep away any powder that we don't need. And I'm just going to give my face a spray with NYX's Matte Finish Set and Spray. And this will just blend everything together and get rid of that powdery look. So as you can tell from the title, this is going to be a peachy look. We'll be using ColourPop's Pressed Eyeshadows. And I'll be using five of their eyeshadows, which just recently launched a couple of months ago. So for that transition shade, I'm going to take this color right here, which is called The News and put that in the crease of my eyes. Just going to buff that out. To deepen the crease even more, I'm gonna take a smaller brush and I'm going to take Making Moves and I'm just going to pack that into my crease a little lower than where I put the nose. So you're gonna wanna do this in tapping motions so that you can get a way better payoff. And you're gonna wanna do this in tapping motions, blending it out as, as you do it so that you can get better pigmentation. And then again with that E35 brush, I'm just going to slightly blend that out. And then for the lid color, I'm gonna use my Luxie 223 short shade of brush and Pep Talk. And this one is more of a shimmery color, so pretty. And I'm just going to pat this in first with my finger in the center of the eye and then work my way out. And that with that shade of brush, I'm just going to spread that out and blend that upward into the other eyeshadow that we used. Going back into making moves, I'm going to go back onto the corners of the eye and bring everything together. To line my eyes, I'm going to use the NYC liquid liner. For lashes today, I'm going to use the House of Lashes Noir Fairy Black. For the glue, I'm just gonna use my Duo Glue. And I forgot to coat my lashes before I put my falsies on, so I'm just gonna use my Molly Mascara to blend my natural eyelashes with my falsies to bring everything together. Now as the glue dries, I'm gonna head over to the rest of my face. Now I don't have a peachy blush, but I'm going to use Tarte's Embellish Blush. And this is more of a mauve uh, color. I didn't wanna go anything too bright, being that the eyes were already kinda bright with the peach. So I'm just going to put a little bit of this on the apples of my cheek and blend that into my contour. For highlighter, I'm going to take my Laura Geller Gilded Honey, which I just got last month, believe it or not. And yes, I'm pretty late, but I got this for my birthday. And I have a birthday tutorial uh, coming up in the near future. Hopefully sometime this week I will post it up, but I just love this highlighter. So Gilded Honey from Laura Geller and Champagne Pop from Becca are my two top highlighters. Going back to the eyes, I'm just going to line my inner rim with Marc Jacobs Gel Liner. And this is just in the color black. And then to finish the eyes, I'm gonna go back into making moves. And I'm just going to run that along the bottom of my eyes. And I'm just going to smoke that out. I'm just going to take a little bit more of that The Nude Shadow. And also run it underneath my eye. Now 
I'm going to go back into Pep Talk. Moving on to the lips, I'm going to use Max Cork Lip Liner to line my lips. And I'm also going to use ColourPop's Airplane Mode, which is also a peachy color. And then to set my face, I'm going to use the Urban Decay All Nighter Makeup Setting Spray. And then I'm going to immediately fan it in. I got this trick from Makeup by Mario. As soon as you spray your face, you immediately lock everything in. So this is the finished product. I hope that you like my rendition of this peachy look. It's pretty simple. And I, like I said earlier, I would list all the products that I use in the description bar. And please give this video a thumbs up. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And until next time, I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.